We're following a potential breakthrough into what may be causing severe lung illnesses possibly linked to marijuana vaping. Government health investigators say they discovered a chemical in the products that may be to blame. The CDC reported more than 200 cases of severe respiratory diseases potentially linked to vaping. The agency confirms at least one person has died from vaping-related illnesses. Dean Reynolds is in Libertyville, Illinois, with one teenager's near-death experience. Dean, what do we know about this chemical? Good morning. Well, the chemical in question is an oil derived from vitamin E, which investigators found in samples of marijuana vaping products from patients all over the country who got sick after vaping. And it's another sign of the potential risk from vaping unknown or uncertain substances. I'm 18 years old. My lungs are like a 70 year old. Adam Hergenrader of Gurney, Illinois, has been hospitalized since last week. He says he vaped with THC, the primary ingredient of marijuana. How do you get that? Uh, you know, the it, THC? Basically off the streets, I guess, off like a drug dealer. You're buying it off the street from some guy that you don't really know. In retrospect, do you think that was kind of dumb? Yeah. When, when you're addicted like that, I don't think that goes through your mind. <laughs> Soon after, Adam became feverish, started vomiting, and was gasping for breath. His mother, Polly, drove him to the hospital where he went straight to intensive care. It's probably every parent's nightmare, and we couldn't make Adam better. Did you ever think that your son might die? Yes, he because we were told he would have. Adam told us he'd been vaping for about two years to get the buzz from nicotine and then the high from marijuana. Can you get a deep breath? I can, but most of the time it ends up in a cough. Do you regret this? Of course, yeah. My lungs will never be the same. This is what your x-ray looked like. Adam's pulmonologist, Dr. Stephen Amesbury, worries that the current crisis may be only the beginning. Do you have any doubt in your mind that vaping is responsible for this? There doesn't seem to be anything else turning up in these cases. We look for the other, th other potential causes, but we haven't been able to find anything else. And coincidentally, all these people have been vaping. Now, contaminants and vaping products, counterfeit vaping products like the one used by Adam, are of interest to health officials investigating these illnesses. And while the potential link to the vitamin E oil is important, the FDA says much more testing is needed to get at the cause of what's making people sick. Tony? Interesting to see the reporting shift from e-cigarettes to what are effectively e-joints. Dean, thank you very much.